Hey, how's it going? I think I've met you, James. That's right, at uh, Vineyard, right? Yeah. yeah, nice to see you again. having their elder meeting right now. Yeah. 
and we're in lockstep the open seventh as well. I think both our churches will be open on the first Sunday. Where, where are you from? Yeah. First Baptist. Oh, okay. Uh, and Loon Lake is open. It sounds like we was in the same boat. When they called you, what did they say? Well, I won't repeat it exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was gentlemanly, but it was there was some veiled hints that um, you you had more than five people there, according to the people in your uh, cars in your parking lot. Yeah, I said you had more than five people there, considerably more, but I didn't say that. Anyway, we did have more than five people. I guess that was what you, that, that was going by, and it turns out that uh, it's, it's their business to inform, and he was doing that, he was informing, but recognizing that we were going to make the decision. So, I don't know if that answers your question. Right? There was a little bit more than that. <laughs> Well, I think, too, if we all come together and then share what has been spoken here, like you people to the other pastors that are not here, I think there's a lot of frustration, personally, but when people come together, the frustration ceases because you see, oh, there's a unity going on, we're communicating, we're getting things done, there's a, there's a, a group of people that are all going in the same direction, so... I just want to encourage you guys to not just leave this here, but to, you know, share it with your fellow pastors and people that aren't here, um, you know, why there's not more. I mean, I'm thankful for you that you are here, and why there are not more, I don't know. Um, I know that there's some that are uh, meeting in other people's buildings, that they're not doing fellowship because, you know, they're, they're kind of limited because of somebody else's building they're renting from. Yeah. So there are other factors involved, but we need to, I think the big thing is supporting each other as uh, churches and the businesses, you know, uh, watching each other's backs, and I, I believe that if we're standing together and we see somebody's in trouble or something's going on and we all rally that way, there, there's really not, I don't see there's going to be a harm in this community in Stevens County of that being an issue. After I heard about the, uh, the federal court decision uh, last Friday in Bothell, uh, I, I went on and tried to find uh, the rest of the uh, Came out on Facebook, the Republican Commission County Office in Sonoma County had it on Facebook. That's how we found out about it. A day later, it was not on Facebook. So I, I went on, I said, sure, this has got to be something. And I looked around, and I was pretty scared. Finally found it in the Linwood Press or something like that. Uh, but the, the people don't want to, they don't want to give any credit. Well, there's censorship going on as well. Yeah. So that's why we kind of need to come together so we can communicate. And, and we also wanted to let you folks know that, that there is support right. for you. Um, you know, in reading my Bible, you guys have such an amazingly hard job in the sense that, you know, um, as a shepherd, you're standing in that gate between the flock and the bears, the wolves, the lions, the robbers, whoever is going to come in. That's part of your job responsibility. And like, man, I don't envy you, and, and but I do want to support you yeah. in that role. And right now we see that people's lives, their livelihoods, their life savings, they're being stolen. You know, who among us wouldn't step in and say something if we saw something being stolen, you know, or lives wrecked, or suicide, all that kind of stuff. I might add to that. Our Lord is Jesus Christ. Our Father God. We all have the same daddy. We're a family. You know, if somebody's picking on your brother or your sister, stand up and protect them. We approach with love at first, but if love don't work, you got to remember, any government that's big enough to give you everything is big enough to take it all away. They did this to us now. Come fall, if we don't rally, if we don't stand up for our rights, if we don't get involved in politics, even though everybody hates the word, 
we don't represent Christ in the community, they will do it to us again. We won't have this opportunity. This will become Tenement Square. Okay? And that's Does everybody know that reference? Yeah. Okay. If the government if the government takes over, we won't have the opportunity to worship our God in freedom. The other thing is, you know, I'm going to bounce off that too. Uh, those are both great points, and I was sitting here and uh, uh, you know, I had stuff on my heart just lined in with everything that you guys just said. You know, we're all the body of Christ, um, and uh, you know, I, how, you guys all know each other, all you leaders. Yeah. Okay. So what I would say is, you know, um, get to know each other. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We're all family, brothers and sisters. Um, but, you know, Romans says that we're all the body of Christ, you know. Um, the, the hand can't tell the, you know, the, the heart. Oh, I can't remember the scripture. Hey, man. Yeah. You know the one, though, right? You know, we can't tell one member to the other member that you're not good. We're all part of the same body. And, you know, in my experience, the best, not that this is here, you know, um, in, in this community. But, you know, I've seen divisions in churches. I've big time. And it always weighed hard on my heart because that's your brothers and sisters, you know? And, and here, you know, with everything that, you know, goes on spiritually, you know, uh, that's the hard times. God presents opportunities. This is an opportunity for every single one of you elders to get together, to know, get to know each other, exchange information. It'll, this, this could be a great opportunity to bring our spiritual leaders together. Um, so, you guys, so we can all be on the same page with this. And lasting relationships from here on in as brothers and sisters. Um, so, I guess that's what I got to say about that. You guys are going to say something. Us gathered here. And unfortunately, I think we have elected officials who are going against that government. And I feel it's justified that we politely and winsomely lovingly stand up against them, but Ephesians also said you were once darkness. You're to come out and be light and actually go one step further and expose and oppose those unfruitful works of darkness. And uh, so I'd like to encourage every one of us here to, to, I don't know what that looks like in your church, in your circle of influence, but we are to turn the lights on it. If we see some cockroaches running, you know, hey, that'd be awesome. But uh, I'd, I'd like to just kind of, my main goal is to get us unified as a body. And maybe even, it sounds like maybe kind of cost Sunday is a, a go with a lot of people, maybe June 7th, so you guys have that plan. But at the same time, we the people of Stevens County want to be a resource to you if you need info. Tracy's actually in some very influential levels at, at a state government level here in Washington. She's a treasure trove of info. Um, we're all trying to be amateur uh, academics, you know, like Conan, Gwen, they, everybody here has all kinds of resources for you. So not only support, you know, we're your biggest cheerleaders, but we want to get you information um, in terms of what we see going on out there, like elected officials who are overstepping their bounds and they're doing Satan's work for them, you know, killing, stealing, destroying. We, we need to oppose that. Before my sister speaks, I wanted to just piggyback on what he said, which was um, taking advantage of the opportunity now. One story that I'm sure that we all know very well is when the children of Israel, when God told Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so he didn't want to, but you see how God made a difference. He sent a mark of demarcation as they left Egypt and they went out to the the Red Sea, God put a cloud in between the, the children of Israel and Pharaoh's army. And he allowed them to go on dry land through the Red Sea. And then, once the Pharaoh's army started to come after them, what did God do? He allowed the waters to overtake them. So I say, uh, with my brother said, now is the opportunity for us to stand together what Sister Gwen said. So if some church is having some issues and you guys feel wind of it, Go. If your church haven't started opening it, go and support and just do that, you know, so that way, you know, you kind of stand up and say, look, our, our authority comes from the Lord. 
And so this is a good opportunity. And I'm so thankful. I can't tell you guys how much I'm so thankful that you guys are out. Pastors representing the churches. Some have already started opening. So I just want to encourage you all to just continue to keep meeting and whatnot and take advantage of this. Because in the fall, <laughs> we don't know what they're going to do. And Gretchen started a Facebook page and it's just exploded. She can That's tell you about that. We the people of Stevens County. Yeah. So there's a lot of that. finances, whatever it is, I think a way to break some of this stuff down and release prosperity for businesses and other things too, just double down. It's like, um, if you if you pay $20 for a meal, give them 40. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give them $40, they're, they're hurting. You want them to be in business, double down. If you have, if you've got the money in your pocket, give them the money. And the same thing with church fellowships, the same thing with other people who are serving in the community. That, that you know, they just, uh, they're out, they, you know, they're cooked. When's the last time you got a tip? You may have. No, nope, not usually. So, like, some, so I'm just saying it, that when you're doing a job for somebody, that they'll give you an extra $500 to keep your business going because you're you're a faithful steward of what the Lord's giving you work with. Yeah. So, I just want to say that. So, be led of the Lord. But be generous in this time where uh, literally everyone is trying to strip everything about us that's generous away mm -hmm. yeah. and tell us you don't have the means, you don't have the whatever. We do. We do have the means. And if you got extra toilet paper. <laughs> Brian outline. Are you are you hinting that you need some? No. <laughs> I have my stash. I always have my stash. <laughs> Does that make sense? Absolutely. I just want to encourage Absolutely. you with that. I might, I might add to that in, in regards to uh, something that came to mind earlier when this sister of mine mentioned about the, they're just like dumping our food, yeah. you know, like the potatoes in the food boxes, they're just giving it away. Yeah. You know, the, the, the elected officials, the, yes, Nate, yeah. we are the government, we are the people, but we've elected these people that have taken over. Because we, the people, have let they, the government, take over. They have, we, the church, has set back, has stepped back and go, yeah, you guys take care of it. Yep. 
food banks and everything else the government's doing. hundred years ago, we the people saw people in need and we Absolutely. went out and did it. Absolutely. That goes back to that whole freedom for security kind of thing. You know, um, there's a good... Uh, uh, there's a little meme. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank we'll you. keep you guys posted. There's Watch a little meme base. on Facebook. Yeah, I'm sure some of you guys have seen it. It's like, it's like these two people playing chess. And the chessboard's like sitting on their, on their knees. They're like crouched down. And, it, and it's talking about the government. It's like, hey, you know, if, 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 if we all stood up at the same time, you know, the game would be over. <laughs> exactly. You know, and that's absolutely truth. Uh, there's, there's strength in numbers. The more of us that come together in unity, uh, the less power they actually have. The more of us that go, you know, that, that, that uh, use civil disobedience, the less power they have. They don't have no power other than what the people we give them, you know? And, and uh, all we gotta do is pull them, stand up, say we're not doing this no more. What are they gonna do? Take us all to jail, the whole state? The whole country? I feel like our, our, yeah, our, our you know, sue yeah. us all? I mean, it, it, it's not going to happen. And, and that's been part of what we wanted to hear is that onesie twosie, we're not going to have an effect. Nobody's going to hear us. But if Absolutely. we unite, there you have a voice. You have a movement or whatever you want to call it. But you do have some unity or you have some power to, to make some changes, you know. And, and the system of government that we've been given, it's a blessing. But it's a blessing that requires maintenance. Mm -hmm. Just like my car, my body, my relationship with my wife it all takes daily maintenance to make sure that it's functioning well and you know and being involved in politics being involved in what we see represented making sure that that's the system of government that we want mm -hmm. um, we have this amazing little blip in all of history that is our government it's an amazing blessing and, mm -hmm. um, but yeah so you guys are instrumental very instrumental, maybe even more than some of the pastors realize in terms of absolutely being out there and being that salt and light in the community. So we gotta get back to our story. Oh yeah, Bless please get out of here, guys. guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for thank coming. You. Thank, you. So, no. thank right. you. Are you guys you're over at the the spa place, right? County yeah. Stoughton Spa. That's, that's oh. you guys. That's right. Okay. Yeah, right. Are you open? Yeah. We're trying to make a living over there. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So you guys are open. We are we'll we're open. See if we're going to All right, guys. Thank yeah, you. That's why you look. You know you uh, <laughs> from the story. Yeah. Heard and the girls are from thirteen. Yeah. 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 That's a good book. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Right. As long as the government punishes evil, you're to obey the government. But like Hitler, he did not do that. Then you don't have to obey. So as long as they punish you, you don't have to obey. But when they push evil and go along with evil, then you don't have to obey. There is some qualifiers. Did not obey. Yeah, there are some qualifiers in that verse. It says that. There is no authority other than God, and if you're doing something that's not of God, you don't have authority. You know? so, yeah, I agree with you, sir. Here's your Constitution of the United States, the supreme law of the land here. And, of course, Amendment Number 1 says they stay out of the religion. Yes. So you have an opportunity to open and close your church when you want to. Absolutely. Yeah. The governor assumes powers that are not his yeah. right. in our state. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Very, very liberal. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, I appreciate you. It's refreshing to have a, at least in my experience, I just came from Southern California, and, and uh, Jack Hibbs are kind of few and far between, and so to have a pastor that's awake and aware and uh, out there ensuring that our God-given rights are protected mm -hmm. is, is amazing that's great so I, mean, I just want to say that it's uh, you know in some ways it's unfortunate it takes something like this to open the eyes of god's church and that's mm -hmm. a big part of what this is all about mm -hmm. we have to see our heavenly father's hand in this mm -hmm. as well and what an amazing blessing could come out of this amen the church of jesus christ mm -hmm. if the pastors have their eyes open mm -hmm. and begin to share with the congregations Righteousness once again from the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the opportunity that we have, yeah. of course, yeah. as a church for Jesus Christ. Will we do that or not? I think a lot of people get scared, but uh, I, you know, I bring everybody back to the pastors and say, "Be bold, the Lord." You know, and, and as far as the pastors um, and the leaders, I mean, for all of us, for that matter, you know, because we are this. You know, I totally uh, feel it too. This is a spiritual war. I mean, we're. 
there's stuff going on that we can't ignore. You know, I keep telling Gretchen, I was like, man, you know, I've read this stuff in a book somewhere. It was a really <laughs> old book, about 2,000 years old, you know? And, and so, you know, we, we are, I mean, absolutely, we're in a spiritual war. And we, you know, I mean, I think we need to be passive to a degree, but you know, on the other hand, you know, and I'll take you back to the passage where Christ, I mean, you know, the Pharisees were gambling in the temple and he flipped over the, he he flipped over the table. He was angry. <laughs> and so to be angry, does not, there's such thing as a righteous anger, you know? And I think people get that mixed up, you know? Mm -hmm. Especially in the churches, we have to be passive. We have to, you know, take the back seat. No, the Lord was, he was, you know, he was not passive, you know? He was gentle, he was kind, you know? He was loving, but he was also, he also had a wrath, you know? They were, they were fornicating and, and, and gambling and, and, you know, in the temple, and, and he went absolutely not. And he got angry, and it was a righteous anger. And, you know, we kind of have to have that, too. We might have to kind of, you know, Pray play the game a little bit. <laughs> but we have, to, we have to be angry enough that it's going to, that, that we want to, you know. And that's going to be, a, that's going to be the, the opposite of fear, you know. Fear is going to prevent us from moving forward, you know. That anger, you know, a righteous anger from God, you know, justifying God, that's, that's going to push us forward. You know, and so we kind of need to peek, you know, we need to feel those emotions. We need to be angry what they're doing. Because at the end, it's not even about our state or our country. They're trying to, they're just trying to do some stuff all around the world, you know. we got to be, put on the body of, the armor of God, you know. Uh, uh, have our shield of faith, you know. I mean, we have to, we're soldiers. We were called to be soldiers. Soldiers aren't passive. They don't back down. They march forward. And, and just like that passion says, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little scratchy on my scriptures. So, uh, but when you've done all you can to do is stand, stand. You know, you stand your ground, um, and we have to do that. Whether civilian, uh, uh, believer, non-believer, uh, the pastors, and, and it really, I believe full heartedly that it, it 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 starts with the pastors. You know what we're saying. What we're saying to our congregation, you know, if we're telling them, oh, well, you know, we'll just kind of tone it down. That's not acting bold in the Lord, you know. I'm not saying go out and incite riots either. <laughs> but, you know, the Lord gave us, we, we can lean on his power, you know. He's a pretty strong dude, you know. And, and we need to lean on that power and know and have faith that we have that power in him. And that he's going he's gonna to back us up. Just want to say Hey, thank hey, you guys. For coming. Hey, listen real quick. I know it's we, we've got an hour, and I know you guys have to go. Can are they able to like use the Facebook as, as like a platform Absolutely. to let people know it's that we they're It's we the people open, of or? Stevens County, WA. You guys, we, we kept it. Yeah. In relation to the letters, uh, you just said you represent six hundred. Uh, Over six hundred. Oh, <laughs> How do, you, how do you represent those, those folks that came out Friday, uh, 600 people those are just the emails that we got written down. People saying, I'm standing with you for, and, and that they, we, they're we had on about the page 200 too. that came out. Yeah, but there was, on there's the Facebook more than page, 200. there's 600 followers that are yep. actively involved. And I think we've reached 12,000 with the last count. It may be more now that we've And that's just something. throwing everything together short order. Yeah. Because this yeah. all happened yeah. rather quickly, and not everybody even got the word that even knew we were going to be there, but we were still needed to get it going. Yeah. Well, good job. There, there so are a few sure. that are um, not very nice on there, um, but <laughs> and you always have the good and the bad. You do. <laughs> and so that's why right. give or take a, a little more than 600, but there are plenty of people that are in um, in the same on the same page that we all are Thank you. and have everybody support. Steve, and we created the page so it's we'll open so, so anybody can post on there. Could so I, could I please. Suggest that you refer to us as Stevens County people, not Calvillians? Because most of us live outside of Calvillians. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, on the page yeah. it is. Yeah, the page Stevens is County. we the people oh, okay. of Stevens County, WA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Most of your activists are outside of You are totally oh, yeah. 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 Just, I'm not. I didn't want to like... <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> you know, actually make a statement that wasn't true, and I know that people here in Colville that showed up to the rally, most of them were local, and so I don't, I apologize. We'll get that changed, and we'll make sure yeah, to. It's, it's just, you know, 
of course. Part of the culture here. Yeah. yeah. There's a big distinction between the town and the county. Sure. Yes. <laughs> the town, honestly, the town typically, except for the few that. Well, are, I'm outside the town, but I'm still in Colville. Okay. Yeah. So God bless you. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Thank well. Thank you. Yeah. Keep us well. in touch. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, pray for us. Yeah, we will. Yeah. 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 Pray for us. Yeah. that trend to where everybody's opening up you know so if you guys know people that are opening up or, or promoting like that get them on the page okay. have and them do it have them we do, want to just write people. something out or something yeah. where they stand so people can see that because people are just waiting for people to take steps mm -hmm. absolutely you know and it just I takes a few been at your place then last it'll Sunday steamroll if I had known, you know I, I just didn't know so <laughs> hey I'd love yeah. to I'd love to uh, yeah and so yeah you can put your your church where, where you're uh, where you're at is. and yeah where your fellowship at is at all the information if you want the times of service and whatever you want to put on there so that way people know because I know definitely around this time there's more people follow uh, coming to God mm -hmm. and following him because awesome. people are looking for churches yeah. to yeah. be open yeah. Yeah. yeah and so I mean we were just looking for our church to open and it was like oh yeah of course the time that we want to look for one <laughs> <laughs> because we're actually in town now we can get to church on Sunday and they're, um, you know, all closed. So we were finding the YouTube channels and whatnot. And so those are great. I mean, those are really nice to stay in contact. But it's, I know this, there's a lot of people that are now actively looking. So okay. put the information and then uh, and then let people know. All right. Thank you, guys. Hey, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, guys. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Well, anything else? I think that's about it. Okay. Well, 